Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing the $1,000 Fantasy Sephora shopping basket. Emily Noel created this um, video if you had $1,000 money, you know, you didn't need that $1,000 for anything else and you could spend $1,000 at Sephora, what would you buy? The very first thing I thought was I'd rather have $1,000 to spend at Ulta. <laughs> but maybe we'll do that one later so uh, there are a bunch of people that have done this at this point a ton of people initially what i did was put everything in my sephora loves list on my cart it wasn't even a thousand dollars that's what i would buy the things that were on my loves list and then i thought well i would delete you know i edited it a little bit but right now everything on my loves list at sephora is what i would purchase with that thousand dollars i think we're closer to a thousand dollars now let's get to it the very first thing is the Pharmacy Deep Sweep 2% BHA Pore Cleaning Toner with Moringa and Papaya. Oh my, so many words. So I really know nothing about this. I really love trying new toners. People seem to really enjoy the Pharmacy brand. So I would try that. It's a $28 toner, which I would just the next thing is one of the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush. I have one of these. I have the bright pink. It's called... What are you called? Um, like Crush On You or something. Why are you working? Oh, Crush On Cupid. It's a bright pink. It looks crazy, but it's very beautiful. This is a very blendable formula that you can build up or blend out. I really enjoy it, but I would get a more more me color and that would be cool berry which is a soft mauve with shimmer which is a little concerning but you know we would try it so that is twenty dollars i've never heard of this i know nothing about it but i was looking at the sephora website and i said i need to, i would try it i would never buy it full price or in not a fantasy land which I guess would be real life uh, but let's put it on the list you know this is the Lululemon self-care anti-stink deodorant I don't know it's aluminum free it goes on clear it says it feels dry it's a spray formula which I really enjoy I don't know man I would try it um, there are two oh three cents oh two cents Oh, there's a mini. So there's aloe lotus and black pepper sandalwood, which all of that sounds appalling to me. So we're going to go with aloe lotus. Next, we have the Nails Ink Plant Power Nail Polish Duo. This is $15 and it comes with the Nail Kale Base Coat and then a color called... What is the color called? Uh, oh. It's called a meditation polish in high shine. Listen. <laughs> okay, whatever. I just want to try the duo. I think it looks pretty and, you know, whatever. Okay, next we have another toner. This is the Uli Hendrickson Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. And I've heard, like, the most amazing things about this. Um, oh, there's a smaller one. Oh, a 10 ounce. Oh, wow. Okay. I just, I've heard a wonderful things about this and I really, really want to try it. I did not realize there was a smaller one. So at some point that might actually go in my cart for purchase, but for the sake of this video, we're going to put the 6.5 ounce, which is $29 in my cart. Next we have a Charlotte Tilbury KSSING lipstick and it's the color Bitch Perfect. Part of me just wants it for the name. Also, the color looks beautiful. Wait, I can try it on. Hold on. Let's try it on. Oh my gosh. No, not Why do I look so yellow? Like, is that because of the walls? What, what's going on here? Oh my gosh. This cannot be accurate. This looks like a chalky white. I've seen people wear this lipstick and it looks nothing like that. So nude with pink undertones. Oh my gosh. What? These all look 
like the same color. Maybe we're going with Coachella Coral. Stone Rose. Ooh. I don't really love red, but that's actually really pretty lovely. No, no. Ooh. Pillow Talk Intense. What? Oh, I can't try that one on. Ooh, maybe we'll go with Pillow Talk Intense. That looks beautiful. And Pillow Talk is a... It is a beautiful lip color, and the lip formula is is also quite lovely. That live try on was horrifying, so... Not, not that. Next we have one of the Fenty by Rihanna Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick. Say that more than once. Uh, the color Retro Rose looks beautiful. Let's try this live try and see how horrifying this is. See, these all look like the exact same color. I'm, what the? I'm very confused. Ooh, Tang Fang. I love a red orange. Mm, okay. Okay, we're going to go with uh, Retro Rose because that's what was in my card previously. It's a sheer shiny lipstick, so it, it can't be that impactful. Next, we have another Charlotte Tilbury item. I'm not even the biggest Charlotte Tilbury like fan in the world. Not that I dislike you know Charlotte Tilbury or her products or anything, but I just cannot justify the price. And even if I were spending a thousand dollars, this this took a lot for me to actually put this in here. So it's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Matte Bronzer. This is fifty five dollars, and the medium golden bronze which be the one that I would probably choose. The, it's called Medium. Next we have something from the brand Kosas. This is the Mini Wet Set Clean Lip Oil Trio. I've never tried anything from Kosas, but I've heard great things about them. And I do love like a sheer lip oil hydration. I like that this is a mini set. I want to try that. Next is something from KBD Vegan Beauty. I don't really know anything about this other than it just looks so weird I need to try it. It's the Shake Primer High Impact Visible Eyeshadow Primer. I just need to try it. I don't understand. I just want to try it. That's the reason it's going in here. So you shake it, press for one drop, blend, then apply on both eyelids, let dry, and add shadow. But like why are we shaking it what is in the sh i don't understand i could read about it i'd rather just try it the next thing is the jouer cosmetics rose gold blush bouquet dual blush palette mini in rose gold this is 19 dollars i uh don't actually know how big this is but it's a mini duo. Uh, that's really plenty for me. A mini blush. I have a lot of blush. I do, I do really like blush. But you know, a mini is good, right? Next blush is not mini. This is the Lawless Make Me Blush Talc Free Velvet Blush. These are all fairly new and they have some beautiful shades. The shade that I would like would be Indian Summer, which is a medium tawny rose. Desert Rose also looks beautiful, but we're going with Indian Summer. That looks really pretty. For someone who says that I'm not a Charlotte Tilbury girl, we have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury in this list. I guess I just want to try some things. The Filmstar Bronze and Glow Contour Duo. This is probably the first thing that I really know people, I really remember people talking about Charlotte Tilbury when I first started getting like really into makeup. There are two colors now. I feel like there were not always two colors. There's a fair medium and medium dark. Obviously fair medium would be my color. I, I, it won't work, but I already added it to the card. So that is $68. Next we have the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marola Antioxidant Face Oil Mini. I have tried this before in a little duo that was super mini, uh, I can't remember what the Littles duo or something, I can't remember, and I really did like it, but I, it's just so expensive. Even $40 for the mini seems outrageous. I also know that I 
am pretty slow at using up a lot of skincare, so that's why I'm also choosing the minis so that I will I would be more likely to finish it in my fantasy mind and it wouldn't expire. Next we have a fragrance. This is one of the only cruelty-free fragrances that I know of. Could be wrong. But it's the Penrose brand and this one is called a Little No, it's called Little Dipper. This is classic floral scent type that is pretty on brand for me. So peony, mandarin petals, and creamy sandalwood. That just sounds beautiful. It's a soft floral blend with a subtle hint of spice. Petals of peony and a little lavender leaves. So cute. Reveal a purely natural oral floral with a delicate linger of soft sandalwood. And the packaging looks really beautiful. It's purple, but that's exciting. We're gonna try that. I've never tried anything from Biosance, and again, heard amazing things. This is the Biosance Squalane and Vitamin C Rose Oil, $72. I don't know. I really don't know a ton about it, but it was one of those things that I thought, that's interesting. I would try if I had a thousand dollars, you know? That's kind of how I looked at this. The Summer Fridays Super Amino Gel Cleanser. This is $38. I've heard great things about Summer Fridays. I love a gel cleanser. I love trying cleansers. This is good for normal, dry, combination, oily skin. Um, the amino acids were custom selected for their unique powers to replenish, protect, and support skin elasticity. Uh, Maris Sol. I don't know what that is. This atomized seawater oh, infuses skin with natural minerals to calm irritation and boost radiance. Vitamin E, sodium PCA, and sodium lactate. This high potency trio helps skin attract and hold moisture for long lasting hydration. Okay, hold on there. We don't need that. Comes in recycling packaging. It's vegan, cruelty free, gluten free. That's interesting. I don't know. I, I would still try it. The Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner in Pillow Talk. I actually have a mini of this and it's beautiful, so I would totally buy and use the full size. I don't wear a ton of lip liner, but that is a beautiful, beautiful color. And the lip liner that I have, it's a mini, but it's very nice, so we're going to add that. The Aether Beauty Joshua Tree Desert Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Normally I would not be stoked for like an all matte palette but I really want to try this brand this color palette looks more like my style and it's $58 that's a lot for a brand that I know almost nothing about and I, I don't really know that I've ever heard anyone talk about this brand have you tried Aether Beauty is it amazing it should be next we have the Natasha Denona bronze eyeshadow palette I know the bronze one. This is the $65. This is one of the, you know, not minis, but one of the smaller ones. It's not the huge $129 palettes. I just feel like this is so much for, it's just so much. These, oh my gosh. These um, promo photos though are completely stunning. Look at this girl. Oh, you're seeing my screen. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That, like, these all look amazing. Now I actually want this guy. I added another Penrose fragrance because why the H not? This is flush. No. This is fresh florals. Jasmine, musk, and ylang ylang. I love jasmine and I love ylang ylang. I'm not big in musk. I'm musk. But you can't avoid it apparently. Take a wander in the wild, lost in the scent of white lilies and ylang ylang, with jasmine and elderflower gently calling your name. Listen. Amanda. You smell I hear it. I kind of want that one too. And $77. Patrick Ta Major Beauty Headlines Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. This is $34. She's That Girl is the color that interests me. It's a soft pink. It just looks beautiful. So all of those things, my total is $867. I didn't even make it to $1,000.
What's new? Let's see. New arrivals? New makeup? Sure. That's more interesting to me. Ooh, Ilya Balmig. Wow. Ilya Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil. Hold on, what's up with this? Oh, Tahiti Burnt Coral. Saint Rustic Orange. Ooh. Ooh. I've not seen those. Oh, those are beautiful. We're gonna add rustic orange. Why not? So now I have to like, not even $900 yet. Wow, I haven't looked at the new section in a while, I guess. Ooh, you know what? I kind of want to see what the Melt Cosmetics She's in Parties eyeshadow palette is all about. That's beautiful. I still haven't used my one melt palette. I'm the worst. Oh, and then also Tower 28 Beauty. I've seen a ton of stuff about Tower 28 Beauty lately, and I've never heard of them. Magic Hour. Oh, no, that's, that's not what I want. Tower 28. Let's look at them. Ooh, tinted lip and cheek balm. I mean, I would... Wow, that's so pretty. Also, this is the color that I want my hair. Like this red right here. I want to be a true gender. Shine On Jelly Lip Gloss. What? I'm really to a gloss lately. Is this... Oh, try it on. Let's try it on. I like chalky. Why do it look so orange? Mm. That, that does not look sheer me. Oh, gosh, no. Mm. Oh, that's pretty. If that color is accurate, that's really pretty. Mm, I don't know about that. What are we up to? $941. So, where does La Mer get off with these prices? I swear. Ooh, Saturday Skin Yuzu Vitamin C Sleep Mask. Ooh. Yeah, I do love a sleep mask. You know what I want? Blemish. Uh, this Lip Glowy Balm Gummy Bear. What are we at? $9.87. Yeah. $13 is what I can spend. Filter. Wait, how do I... Oh, sort. Low to high. My favorite way to shop. Ooh! No, I kind of tried the Fenty um, Mini Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara. So we'll love that. And we'll be at an even thousand. Gosh, can you imagine? I can't. I gotta delete all this before it accidentally purchases it. Have you guys tried any of these things? Tell me your thoughts, please. Is there anything on this list that I should actually buy? Have you done this video? What would you buy with a thousand dollars at Sephora? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. There are tons of videos like this to watch, so go watch all of them. Especially Emily Noel's because she's the one who created this. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you guys in my next video.